What's going on everyone, Alex here and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today's video is gonna be a pretty simple one. We're gonna just be talking about a little thing called creative burnout. Yes, it is real creative burnout. I've been experiencing it a lot recently, uh, but I feel like I've gotten over that hump and, and I'll explain a little further in the video what helped me get over it. But creative burnout, it, it is a real thing. Uh, you know, what I do for a living is my passion and it kind of, they kind of butt heads every now and then, you know? So it's like, what I do for a living, I'm doing video, I'm doing photo, and then on my free time, I, I just wanna do more video and photo. And it just got to a point where I was just taking on too much, you know? And especially with like freelance work, I would, I would, I would just take on freelance work and then it just feels like I was working and I wasn't creating for me. What did I do to get rid of my creative burnout? I did a film race. And if you don't know what a film race is, they're different from many cities. You've got 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, but my city opted for 36 hours. So we had to shoot a short film in 36 hours, a six minute short film or less. And you had to write, you had to shoot, you had to edit, you have to do all the things that you would do in a short film. We had to do those within 36 hours. Now they also give you some some curveballs, if you will. You have to, you know, have a word of dialogue. You have to have like a location. So they kind of add some things in there to 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 throw you off, I guess. But my ultimate goal going into this film race was just to have fun, just to get my filmmaking buddies together and just have fun, to try and knock that creative burnout on its ass. And that's exactly what I did. It it helped. I mean, we just got together, had a good time got the creative juices flowing again, and this is what we accomplished. All right, yeah, I got it. Yeah, that's definitely his house. And how do you know this guy again? It's this big wig banker guy. Aren't you a banker? Yeah, yeah, that's how I don't know about it. All right. Well, we'll come back when it's dark. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? I cannot understand a word you're saying. You have chosen this moment to de-chap your lips. Don't pull your mask up. Don't pull my mask up. What? You know, it doesn't matter. Let's just three, two, whoa, whoa, one. Whoa. Let's just go. What's the plan? What? Where's the bag? We don't need it. Look, sleep mask. Sleep. Just. Why did you bag me? I can't see anything through my sleep mask. I can't believe you're not wearing your mask, dude. You can't believe I'm not wearing the mask? What, these these masks, the worst masks in the history of masks? And, and, and first of all, I have to drive. I can't see anything. The eye holes, they're, they're too far apart. I mean, they seem to be made for some sort of a chameleon or a reptile. I spent a lot of money on these. You did not, liar. Earlier today, you were singing, I mean in jingle form, that you got buy two, get one free at Party City. That, that was you. That, that was you earlier today. Did you steal a piece of art? You stole my art? Yeah, the one above the toilet. It looked expensive. Well, it's not. It's local. Oh, really? Well, you'll be getting that back then. Hey, what's wrong with local? I love local art. I love the feeling of local community that art can create. That's why I only buy local All right, art. enough about the art. We're approaching the warehouse. Warehouse? Quiet, you. So here's what's gonna happen. Blaine? What? Wait, uh, no. Yeah, I was fairly certain I recognized your voice. Now I'm sure it's you because of that terrible wow tattoo. All right, first of all, it's not terrible. It says mom when I read it. And uh, I'm not Blaine. Wait, 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 wait. 
How do you know him? We work together. So when you said you knew him through banking, you meant from the same bank? Yeah, he's my boss. What do you want? Quiet, you! What are we supposed to do now? Uh, I don't know. We're not getting in the vault now. Yes, that is true. Because of uh, the metal detectors and... No, no, not about metal detectors. It's about the man with a knife in his leg. Well, yeah, but the metal detectors, they're gonna be there. We're gonna have to deal with that. No, no, no. No longer about the metal detectors. It is about the man with a knife lodged in his femur, and you're still going on about metal detectors. Well, yeah, I don't know how to shut him off. Hey, boss man, do you know how to shut him off? Where did he go? <sighs> oh. Well, it looks like you'll have to find a new job. Why is that? First day, huh? Well, bar's pretty low for your job. No, you get the f out! You got it, boss man. Kidnapped me last night. Talk about a case of the Mondays. Hope you guys enjoyed that short film, and yes, the lighting is gonna look a little different right now. I'm shooting this later in the day, but I figured I'd just jump back on here and we could talk about the gear that we used for that short film. Obviously, film that with the Blackmagic Pocket 4K. Uh, we only used two sets of lenses. We used the Sigma 18 to 35 and the Sigma 50 to 100, and the lighting we used was the 300X, the 300D, and then the Aperture 120D, and for one scene, I think we used the Aperture 100D, or the Amaran 100D, which I don't think made it into the short film now that I'm thinking about it. So those are the only lights we used for the whole short film, and then we added in diffusion, like a shower curtain or light dome, or I did just recently pick up a newer light dome that is like, 28 inches or something. I'll, I'll throw up the image on the screen right here and I'll link that in the description below. Not affiliated or whatever, but uh, it, it's, it's actually a pretty awesome little light dome. Um, it's a little cheap, feels a little cheap, but um, if you take good care of it, it will last. But yeah, I mean, we got a little creative with that short film, you know? I mean, we wanted to really rock it with the Blackmagic Pocket 4K. We even ran the audio you know, in the black magic for that whole short film, which I was very, very surprised by. It, it actually held up relatively well, uh, considering all things. But yeah, we used that and those two sets of lenses and we just, I feel like we really, we were synced up as a team. We really knocked it out of the park, I feel like, with that short film. But uh, yeah, I just figured I'd let you guys know what gear we used on that short film. So if you're experiencing some creative burnout, I would recommend doing a film race. It helped me and I feel like it would help you too. It just, it's so fun to get some filmmaking friends together and just have a good time. Now, if there's no film race around, still just kind of get some friends together and say, guys, we've got 24 hours to make a six minute short film and just have fun doing it. I feel like it would really open up that creative juices and get them flowing again and get you out of that creative burnout because it, it helped me. I'm. I'm like jazzed. I can't wait to start making some more short films. As you guys have noticed, I've been uploading a couple more videos recently than, than in the past. So I really do. I feel like getting out there and just having fun with making short films, whether for a film race or just doing it for fun with friends, I think that's gonna do it. Well guys, that does it for me on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already. Tap that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Till next time, shoot to create.